Hello again, Praetorium Power Super Team. I wanted to show you guys a uh, visualization for semantic understanding uh, for the Tesla proof of concept called Ingrid uh, down in Austin for the Gigafactory that we're working on. Um, we've already showed you the first couple of proof of concept iterations uh, that we've been developing, and now our major focus is going to be shifting toward uh, three different bullet points. Number one is power simulation. Uh, so the system understands what's energized, what is de-energized, and what is in lockout, tagout status um, on the facility. And we need to make these objects intelligent. But in the future, um, what we also need to do is integrate lockout, tagout locations for all of the assets at the facility. We can either use asset tags or QR code trackers um, to create, uh, which would be the third pillar of this, all of the automatic reports, historical trending data on the sites. You'd be able to go up and just scan an application with your phone. It would know exactly where you are in the facility by doing semantic scene understanding like this in quads and volumetric uh, machine learning neural nets to infer where you are inside the facility. And then you would just scan a QR code. And then from there, it would bring up all of the information about that piece of equipment, the current status of the equipment, everything that's ever been done to that equipment uh, via maintenance, repairs, shutdowns, de-energization, um, and so on and so forth via uh, a historical context, okay? So let's jump into the application here so I can show you what it looks like in the, in the light here. I recorded it last night in the dark. Let's get going. <laughs> Welcome back, Praetorian Power Team. So you can see this right here. This is just coming up in the initial um, view mode here, and what I wanna do is just go into tabletop view mode so you guys can see what it looks like zoomed in. I didn't show you guys that last night and you also didn't see the animated materials last night in the darkness so you can see how that actually looks, how it's going to look in energized, de-energized, and lockout, tagout, and all the individual call out buttons that you can call myself, Moisa, or Josh. We would have all of our people on site uh, who are currently working uh, in different kinds of contracts or projects would be here and you would have it segmented in a electrical testing, transformers, monitoring, um, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, whatever you need for support would be in this area and how many pieces of equipment. And we're gonna keep building this out over the next uh, least month um, as we move forward here. But again, I wanted to show you guys the follow me function, which is really cool because as we click this right there, it should just follow me all the way down the hallway. So you can kind of follow me as I'm walking this is following with me, so you would walk on site from anywhere in the Gigafactory, and this information would be available to you in, in real time, um, which is incredibly advantageous. And again, we come back to the power view. I wanted to show you guys this from this perspective, so now I can zoom down and zoom in on these individual transformers, but all of these pieces of equipment will be in 3D. All of them will have lockout, tagout positions. All of them will have... Um, user manuals, operator manuals, maintenance bypass instructions. You'll be able to actually see, you know, what the equipment looks like in volumetric 3D from a first-person perspective or a bird's-eye view, um, you know, as we move into how the transformer looks. And then you can just reach out, like I said last night, and physically grab this transformer and move it in space. You can inspect it. We can actually break this apart in a building and material so we can see all the the coils and everything, all the structures inside of the transformer. And this, we call this the Praetorian Power View uh, part of the software. And it's just fantastic. You guys should see many of the iterations and uh, within some of our development processes that we're already thinking about. And you can see the status there, right there, right? So it says status active, it's energized. We would be able to show de-energize or lock out, tag out in real time. It's truly, uh, phenomenal. Uh, some of the things we're able to do nowadays um, and in the future, many of the things you guys will see in short order. Um, and again, I, let me come back to also the schematics just so you can see the differences between uh, the electrical one lines. I think what I'll do is I'll come right here. Perfect. So this is the, the overall one line energization that I, guess I showed you guys in the second video that you can see. But th this again will be intelligent. There'll be 3D models everywhere. And this will be the entire electrical one line schematic. Uh, I created three packages yesterday in DWGs for Ned. Uh, I think there's around 60 different PDFs in there that we can start working on to convert, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this. A, a little addendum to what I created last night. 
in the bright light so you guys can see how it really looks. Um, and thank you so much. We'll keep going. Please let me know if you have any feedback or insight, some things you guys like uh, that you want to see in the future. And we will also, like I said, we'll be working diligently on uh, those three pillars, the simulation, um, the intelligent uh, aspects of all the switches and transformers and switch gear um, and breakers um, and sub panels, but also lockout tagout and the ability to create or view reports for all of this equipment um, in real time. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.